Are you brave enough to buy your favorite cryptocurrency at a discount of 30 or even 50%? Most of us say yes, but in reality, when the time comes, that's actually rarely the case. I mean, after all, cryptocurrencies are incredibly volatile, with daily swings of 15% or more being almost a regular occurrence, even on our bigger and more noticeable currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. So with such volatility, you're often left asking the question, when is the best time to buy? Now, of course, this is not financial advice. It's merely my opinion based on some books I've read, some articles I've consumed, as well as hundreds, if not thousands of hours of YouTube videos on cryptocurrency and investing. So please speak to a financial advisor for qualified financial advice. So to understand the best time to buy cryptocurrency, we first have to understand what mistiming or more importantly, withdrawing your money with the aim of reinvesting can do to your investments. And to help me illustrate this concept, I have this chart right here. Now this chart shows the growth of $10,000 invested in the S&P 500 index fund, which is a market cap weighted index of the 500 largest publicly traded companies in the United States between the years of 1980 and 2018. Now you can see from the chart that if you'd have invested $10,000 and held on to your investment without ever withdrawing it, then it would be worth over $708,000 38 years later in 2018. However, you'd cut your investment by over a quarter of a million dollars just by missing the five best days over those 38 years. In fact, by missing just 50 days over those 38 years, your investment would be worth less than a tenth of what it would have otherwise been. This brings your $10,000 investment down from $708,000 to just $62,342. And while I know the stock market is the stock market and crypto is crypto, there's not the history there in cryptocurrency right now to illustrate this. However, investing is a long-term strategy. Anything else is simply day trading or gambling and cryptocurrency, in my opinion at least, is no different. I bring this up because the best time to buy is somewhat irrelevant if you're planning on buying and holding for the long term the long term being classed as five or more years. And if you've done your due diligence on cryptocurrency, then you shouldn't be worried about holding for five years or more. So while common wisdom suggests that you should buy when the markets are at their lowest point and then sell when the markets are at their highest, it's almost impossible to achieve. And if it was, well, we'd all work on Wall Street. So when should you buy? Well, a Chinese proverb said the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago and the second best time is now. And the same can be applied to cryptocurrency. The best time to buy Bitcoin was years ago. However, if you've done your due diligence, then the second best time to buy is going to be now. That's because you believe that it's going to go up long term based on your research. Otherwise, you wouldn't be making the investment in the first place. So if you think it's going to go up long term, why wait? After all, while you wait, the price could go down, but it could also go up and up and up. And before you know it, you're just waiting for the price to come back down to where it was when you first decided you were going to make the investment in the first place. As a result, it's my opinion that the best long term strategy approach is to achieve dollar cost averaging. Personally, I have a select number of cryptocurrencies that I buy month in and month out. I spend the same amount of money every month regardless of the price and only adjust my investments if I need to rebalance my portfolio. So what is dollar cost averaging? Dollar cost averaging is a strategy where you invest the same dollar amount into the same asset, in this case cryptocurrency, in the same intervals, whether that be every week, every month or every quarter. If, for example, we're committed to investing $1,000 at the beginning of every month into Bitcoin, then we'd have purchased here, 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 here and here. The average price you'd have paid over the course of the year is $10,448.46 and you'd have had a total of 1.24 Bitcoin. The highest price you'd have bought in at would have been $18,000 and the lowest would have been just over $7,000. While in reality, we all wish we could have spent the entire $12,000 budget on Bitcoin at its lowest point in January 2020, that in reality isn't usually the case.
So with dollar cost averaging looking so smart, why doesn't everybody just do it? Well, it's boring. It's boring and predictable and boring. And let's face it, cryptocurrency is anything but boring. Instead, it's more like being strapped to a roller coaster that's powered by jet fuel. However, I like to think of dollar cost averaging as consistently buying the dip. I mean, sure, sometimes I balance my assets to ensure they're as diversified as I want them to be. And this can result in me throwing hundreds, if not thousands of dollars into the market at any one time. But for the most part, I'm consistently buying the dip. Now it's over to you. When do you think the best time to buy cryptocurrency is? Is it when there's initial coin offerings? Is it when it's down 50% over the last seven days? Let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, if you've enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could give the video a like. It really helps out me and my channel. And if you're new here, I release new cryptocurrency videos weekly. So make sure you click that subscribe button. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Here, here, here. Here, here.